Hi everybody, Electronics here and today we're gonna be playing Artus as the Tomb of the Spider Queen. So let's have a look at our team compositions. So it's gonna be Artus, Medivh, Anubara, Gul'dan and Zeratul versus Nova, Gaslo, Joanna, Artanis and Gul'dan. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is... Was well, they have a bet? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. We have Medivh. Oh, they don't have any sort of sustain. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, this game, we, we kind of should win this game, to be honest. Uh, they have Nova, who is kind of countered by Zeratul. Uh, they have Gaslow, who is just not great in general. He just, like, come on. They have Joanna, who can blind, but we don't really care about blinds. We have an Overrock with his ability damage, Medivh ability damage, Gul'dan ability damage, myself as Arthas ability damage, and Zeratul, who can just blink, like, who won't be probably in the blind radius, because he'll be either flanking or staying stealth somewhere, you know? Uh, then they have Artanis again with the blind, and that's probably the biggest threat on the enemy team, weirdly enough, because he can duel Gul'dan, he can duel Zeratul, so we should be really careful and like stay as a team and try to stun, uh, stun lock Artanis as much as possible. Although we don't really have the potential to do that, we only have an Uberak and maybe Fear from Gul'dan. And that's pretty much it. Maybe Polymorph from Medivh, but... That's that's a lot of ultimates just to kill our tennis, so... He'll probably be just like running around on his own, like doing his own thing, you know? Like we aren't able to really stop him, so we will just leave him be. And uh, focus our efforts on more squish on squish squishier characters, but... We'll see how this plays out. And they have Gul'dan, and uh, can be a threat. Like if he if he can actually land some devastating horrifies, that would be kind of sad for us. But let let's see how this goes. So the build uh, for today's game, I I actually never tried this, but I will go for the Q build. I just want to see how it works, you know. Uh, the Death Lord, like full uh, all all talents uh, that have um, this icon here, I will just pick them up. Uh, so we'll have let's cooldown and there are more range on our death coil. We'll have uh, constant healing from it, which is actually a very good talent on its own, and you probably should be picking it because it helps you with the burst damage. It helps you like do consistent damage while healing yourself. Uh, that's nice. And the embrace death, like for amplified damage output, and uh, the passive, like well, not the passive, the first level talent. I will probably go for eternal hunger. Because we'll have the poke, we'll have the poke ability with our death coil, uh, but uh, we kind of will be lacking as uh, kill potential, and that's uh, where uh, our eternal eternal hunger comes in. Because what will hap happen is uh, we'll just uh, jump in. Oh my God! Seriously. Okay, Medivh should have created a portal and finished off, uh, and finished off Gazlo there. That was I seriously don't understand how he survived. That was really stupid. So yeah, Eternal Hunger would actually help us to actually kill them. Uh, because we'll just engage, use our uh, like auto attack combo and all of that, and just like they will probably die. Uh, by the way, if you didn't know, the way you kind of want to be auto-attacking as Artus, you, uh, I, I should say, the way you want to be using your uh, first one hunger. Oh my god, she actually did. Oh, you actually don't. Uh, you actually don't proc. Uh, you actually don't proc your first one hungers when you are blinded. That's actually amazing. What? That's kind of overpowered. Like you should, like it should, the charge should be used, instead it, it just stays there and waits for you to... Wow, that's actually really strong. Like it counters blinds, straight up. Uh, so yeah, by the way, the, the way you should be using your Frostman Hungers is... Uh, you always want uh, to do the uh, hit... Uh, yeah, she was... I thought that she maybe would lose her shield, but uh, but uh, it, it didn't happen. Uh, you want to be, odd, like auto attack and then immediately use your passive and then uh, auto attack again because what for first one hungers that hunger does is it actually resets your auto attack timer so you can just do auto attacks immediately and that's that's really strong 
There we go. Uh, Deslord, picked up Deslord. Now we will have uh, more Death Coils, like, throwing out there, so... It will help with sustain, actually, now that I think about it. Like, I haven't really sought out this build at all. Also, you shouldn't be using your passive when uh, you aren't fighting, for the reasons I just said, because you want to be at auto-attacking and then using your uh, Frostman Hungers. Uh, like, that's basically your combo as artist. Like, your, the way you can delete most uh, squishier characters. Like, look at this. Yes, and then hit. And that's exactly what you want to be doing. So I've already done Gazelle here. He should be... Dead. There we go. Yeah, Frozen Tempest does a surprising amount of damage. Uh, I actually successfully rooted her. That's nice. I actually didn't expect that to land, but uh, Nova can actually snipe me here, and I, I don't want that to happen, so let's go back. They're in a little bit of a situation there. Nah, nah, there's no reason to engage that. Because the difference between just using your passive for an attack uh, and using your auto attacks and passive, uh, the difference is let's let's see let's see what the difference is. It's 200 extra, not not 200, well 200 at level 20, uh, but right now it's 100 extra damage, and that's 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 actually a like that's a bunch of damage. That's a bunch of free damage. And I really thought that she would kind of pursue me there, because uh, I, I tried to trap her. It didn't, didn't happen. That's fine. We won this regen globe. Okay, now we have our immortal coil, and now that's 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 where we can start to sustain us. Hopefully. Uh, I didn't really... Like, as I said before, I haven't tried this at all, so... This is probably an awful build, but I think... I think it's it, 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 it can work. Like, you know? Uh, everything can work, uh, if you try hard enough. Oh, we need to blow up her shield. Oh, he is so screwed now. Unless I can root them. There we go. And then turn around. Can we, can we do this? Are we actually doing this? Oh my god. Good job, team. Good follow-up. Good follow-up, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Because lately, playing as a tank in a quick match, it, it's been an awful experience. Like, people really have no idea what they are doing. Uh, but seeing something like this... Wait, what just happened? Okay, is this a bug? Let's see, Immortal Coil. You gain the healing effect of Death Coil even when you use it on enemies. If you damage an enemy hero with it... Oh, I see. So basically damaging a hero with your Immortal Coil, with your Death Coil, doubles the healing, right? Uh, whereas uh, if you just use it on... Um, like on, on summons or... Like on just straight up guys. On the, on the minions or other. Okay, I'm having trouble with her. Uh, siege, not si are they called siege units? Uh, Non-heroic. Like if you use it on non-heroic targets, uh, I guess that's the wording, that's the phrasing. I don't know. I don't know it's weird. Uh, yeah, you can get. Uh, you just heal for straight up. 200 damage, which is actually less uh, than using to self-cast. Okay, interesting. So if you use it on um, on a hero, it actually heals you for 50% more than it otherwise would have uh, healed you. But if you use it on this guy, it heals you for less. Well, that's interesting. Uh, that's actually a good way to balance this. this talent, I think. A good way to balance. Oh, Nova actually missed her uh, snipe. That's nice. Al always always good to bait out snipes from Nova. Oh, he actually committed to that. Oh, good job, I guess. Wow, I didn't expect that, but I, I guess I should have expected that because that was kind of an easy kill. Uh, Gul'dan doesn't really have an escape, at least until level 10. And even then he needs to waste Horrify to do that, so... I feel, I feel Sindragosa here. Uh, even though you probably should be going for the um, uh, for the army of the dead for this build, and the reason is because like this build allows you to sustain, and that well, that's what you want to be doing. Uh, and Syndra Godsa doesn't really help that. Uh... 
Oh my god, I almost healed. Like, the, the coil almost... Oh my god, that was so close. He, he actually did a really good job with the charge. I probably should have actually went back. I should have sidestepped. Like, like, the way to completely avoid the death was to run top. But I just tried to get as much distance as possible, not to get hit by Gazel's laser. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever, so let's probably go for Syndragosa. I think it works on this map because you can do a really strong push together with the uh, uh, s queens, uh, the spider things, ladies. And look at that. That's it. that's what I'm talking about. Like, if I didn't do my uh, damage combo, my passive combo with my auto attack, I wouldn't be able to kill um, Gul'dan there. He would have escaped just with a little bit of health left. But that was just enough. Good stuff though. We are actually dealing... We actually lost a lot of force now that I look at it. I actually wasn't paying attention to that at all. Uh, but... We do need to make sure we use her shield now. I will try to use my death coil. Okay, so now we have our Syndragosa. Okay, she is dead, but Anubarak also died. Oh, Zeratul, you should have. Oh, that's sad. He should have. He should have done something there, you know. He should have. He should have killed somebody. Yeah, maybe I should have went for the Army of the Dead. Maybe, maybe I should have done that instead. But, 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 but. So they don't have melee auto attackers, like melee bruisers, bruiser auto attackers. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm looking for. So I don't think that it's worth it to go for frigid winds. Uh, by the way, frigid winds is actually amazing if you have somebody like uh, Greymane or Illidan versus you. Like it, it just denies them so much potential damage. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but I do feel like we should go for the Frost Strike. Uh, Joanna is actually going to die here. Oh, she used her... Oh, will be the... Oh, yeah, Gul'dan, Gul'dan follow-up. Gul'dan follow-up was actually enough. Oh, no, 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 I, I'm dying. I'm slowly dying. This is bad. This was a tough fight because we were fighting inside the enemy bruiser camp and guess those turrets. That's really not something you want to be doing at all, at any stage in the game. Oh, yeah, that was a mistake, hold on. I actually did heal myself, so he can't kill me, but that could have gone a lot better. Do I want to use my Syndragosa here for the engage? Is Gul'dan anywhere close? What is going on here, guys? Uh, let's heal up. What, what is happening? Can we can we assess the situation? Let, let's actually tap the fountain real quick, real fast. Medir is in trouble. Man, we we need a push. Like if we can get a push, I can use my Syndragosa and they will just all. Oh, I actually completely missed it. But look at, look at the sustain artist has. has that's, that's amazing. And we don't even have the army of the dead. Please help me out. Okay, we'll go for the embrace death. And that way we can heal actually for a lot of health. If we are really low on health. That, that, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean. It actually and will amplify our damage by almost, I don't know, 100%. That's nice. Probably should be a lot more careful with my positioning here. Yeah, I'm super low on health. I shouldn't be here. I should just go back. But we... Wait, what? Enemy web viewers? How did that happen? Why didn't Zeratul turn in? What? 
Wait, so we didn't have enough for the tourney? I don't know what happened there, but we will get a push from the boss, although we will get wiped out. I have no idea what happened here. This was just stupid and... like, what? What happened? I do not understand. Man, this is actually... it takes a lot of time for artists to kill this thing. I mean, admittedly, Artas isn't really somebody who should be doing that, but still. Also, you don't lose your Frozen Tempest from uh, Johanna's micro stun. I really thought that all of the stuns interrupted your channeled abilities. Well, that's, that's a little bit weird. That functionality is a little bit weird. Oh, that was awful. That fear was... Like, look at that fear and we lose our... Um, We did just wipe them out. Maybe we can even get Gazlal here. Man, that was tough. Yeah, I really try. I should like I needed to Howling Blast him, and I wasn't really in range to do that. But maybe a Nubarak. Maybe we can do something here too. There we go. Good stuff. We can clear this now. <laughs> Although the top Spider Queen, look at that. Look at her go. I forgot how much damage she, da she did. That was kind of bad. Okay, let's kill this turret. What's she doing here? What's she doing here? Okay, there we go. Huh, this is tough. This game was really... Oh yeah, kind of behind big time. Even though we got the boss and everything, we weren't really able to... Oh, I I'm sorry, I should have... We really we don't really need that cam, but it could have gone better. In 20 seconds I will have my Syndragosa. So we can get a solid push here if we choose to. Oh my god, wow, that actually propped. Oh, Nova died, that's huge. Um, also my death coil propped from uh, even though Joanna went uh, into her uh, ultimate there. Look at the sustain. Look at the sustain Artist has once again. This is... <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Uh, Zeratul is going to die. Okay, do I want to use? Yes. We've frozen also this uh, stars back here, so that's gonna be helpful. I'll be taking a lot of um, magic damage because I might want to go for anti-magic shell here. Can we get some healing? Can we get some healing for you? There we go. Good stuff. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's actually amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Good job, team. Good job. The stun locks from uh, uh, Anubarak and the damage output is just crazy. Gul'dan has a ton of damage, by the way, if you didn't know about that. The problem, like, the reason Gul'dan isn't really seen much is because... Why the... Oh, that's weird. Like, it's better to put it here because that way you can avoid guaranteed damage. Like, you can immediately heal yourself up uh, from the poison, like, negate all of that stuff, but it's fine. But yeah, Gul'dan has a ton of damage, and the reason he isn't really played a lot uh, is because he is kind of in the same spot that uh, Gazlo is, right? He he has his uses, but there is like there is no way for Gazlo to safely escape if he is being chased, and Gul'dan kind of faces the same problem unless you go for the level 20 talent of uh, Demonic Circle. But even then, it's like it's a big commitment. Can we get a can we get a slow? There we go. We cut no one. By the way, if you catch somebody in your frozen tempest, like they are just dead, uh, because there is no way they're escaping that. Uh, also, as artists, you really don't want to be out like moving 
Okay, you don't want to just press attack and forget about your positioning and everything as Arthas, because what end up, will end up happening is that you will get in range with somebody, attack them, and then they will immediately get outside of your range of your Frozen Tempest because of the passing, right? Uh, what you want to be doing is you actually want to be just straight up walking into them, and then when, uh, after you slowed them at least for like 20% or something, then you just... For some reason I thought there was a Nova there even though she was dead. Yeah, that was like the weird effect from the burning there. Kind of weirded me out. But enemies actually got the boss. Oh yeah, they have Gazlo. Gazlo, by the way, is a Robo Goblin. He can solo bosses like no big deal. It's kind of scary to be honest. I feel like he, sh he can replace Sonya in certain situations, like when you need her for the boss and mercenary camps and all that stuff, he can just do that a lot faster. But once again he faces uh, the same problem of uh, not being able to escape after that, whereas Sonya can escape. She can. He, she has really good hard escapes and she is a lot more useful in a team fight. Whereas Gaslow really really isn't, he is purely PvE character. That, like he, he has some uses but it's not something to be proud of, like you know, it's something that yeah, it's there, you know, if you need it, like, if if you really need it, like, it's there, but don't count on it. Oh my god, look at the damage output on, uh, on uh, Nova there, look at this. Okay, I'm not gonna be attacking Joanna here, because I want to slow. Oh, that synergy, actually, that's a, actually kind of interesting, because... Uh, you can use um, uh, your roots to prevent people from uh, from running away uh, when they are feared. That's actually quite interesting. So this is where Syndra Goza will have its use. By the way, I haven't picked my level of anti talent at all here. I'll go for Death Advance. I, I never really used it, but let, let's do this. We want this fort down. This keep, I should say. I probably should have used it from here and gotten both skips, but... I'm fine with that. No, we'll die. We'll die. We'll, we'll actually die here, but it, it's fine. We got the experience. You always, always go for the top XP. By the way, Arthas, Frozen Tempest. Man, this, this it actually kind of worked out. This is interesting. This is a very interesting build because you can kind of assassinate people who are running away, like who are in the back line, whereas otherwise you wouldn't be able to do that as Arthas. So try it out. Maybe it's good. And. So if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, and as always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.